Like its predecessor, the new M5 has few external features to distinguish it from the rest of the 5 Series. It's a classic wolf in sheep's clothing, with little to give away the power that lurks beneath. Yes, it's got a more aggressive front spoiler, more aerodynamic door mirrors, and a tiny spoiler on the boot lid. But it's only really the 18-inch double-spoke chrome shadow wheels, the four stainless steel tailpipes, and yes, this little badge that really give the game away. With a 5-litre V8 pushing out 400 horsepower, the BMW leaps back to the front of the pack, threatening to crash to 60 in just 5 seconds for the sort of high-tech engineering you'd expect from its motorsport breeding. Indeed, the M5 has the most technically advanced road car engine in the world, and like a racing engine, it needs to be warmed up gently. Warning lights suggest changing gear below 4,500 revs until the engine is up to temperature, and even then a 6,500 warning remains before the 7,000 limit is reached. Complete with a slick six-speed manual gearbox as standard, you get all this for a fiver under £60,000. Just over 500 less than the Merc, but nine grand more than the Jag. BMW's stability control system is called DSC. And like the Mercs, it has an uncanny ability to try and help the clumsiest of drivers from getting himself into trouble. You can steer viciously and then you can feel the brakes coming on individually as the car tries to slide. The car's sensors detect the problem, they take the power away from the engine and they actually put the brakes on the wheels. It's absolutely incredible what these modern systems can do. Of course, in the end, when given an empty airfield, even in these appalling conditions, you do have to switch it off, just to have a little bit more fun. This car is so beautifully balanced, it's like putty in my hands. Rock and roll. The threat from Jaguar and Mercedes has been washed aside, even when I demand the impossible. The 360 degree spin is easily controlled. This car really does take you back to the future. Indeed, it's so much fun, I'm going to go back to the beginning of the programme and do it all over again. <laughs> to see just how fast that car was outdoors so we gave it to our tame racing driver the stig to put around our test track launch control and he's off zero to 60 in two seconds just an incredibly fast through the gears you can hear how close the gear ratio is a little bit of nosedive as he comes into the first corner stig really carrying some speed a little brake lock up through there pretty composed through the chicane and he comes into the teardrop Working the shift lever, that's what that is near the steering wheel lever, and then this is the handbrake that he's pulling here as he comes into the tightest section of the track. Probably using the handbrake here. Yes, gets a little rotation, but very clean on the exit. All-wheel drive, putting the power down, getting some of the cleanest exits out of the teardrop. A little bit in the grass, that's all part of Rallycross. Very strange to see a Fiesta 129 miles an hour through a corner, still looking very composed. You can see that suspension just absorbing everything as the stick comes into cameraman's corner. Working a little bit on the steering wheel, indicative of a short wheelbase car that the Fiesta is, that it is a little bit twitchy as he comes into the S's. This is going to be a pretty exciting part to drive through here. Extremely fast through there, 90 miles an hour into the last corner, just sliding through the last turn and across the line. Look crazy fast. Really fast. Where is it? Oh, the time? You yeah, the where, time. Does it, where does it fall here? Well, where do you think it fell? I mean, there's a lot of good cars on there. Are you going to put the time up or are you just going to stall? Well, I just honestly, you know a lot about cars. Do you think it's faster than, say, a Panamera or is it faster than the SLS? 
The Murcielago has about the same power. The Ferrari's got less power, but it's pretty good. I would guess, I mean, I'd be pretty excited if it was right in here somewhere. You think a Ford Fiesta is going to live up here? <laughs> <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. It's not just any Ford Fiesta. You're right. It's not just any Ford Fiesta. This is a $500,000 Fiesta, so it's roughly $485,000 more than any Fiesta that normal people would buy. <laughs> okay, it's expensive, but you're stalling still. What was the time? It feels good to be on this side yeah. of the board for a oh, change. Oh, that's fun for everybody. Do you want to see it? All yes. Right. I'm going to make room right here. I'm just going to slide this down just in case. You need no a little, kidding. A little something right in here. Well, you may not need that spot because the Ford Fiesta Rally Cross car did it in 1.195. Yeah! Top of the board. Yeah! Yeah! Top of the Who board. Who the car one? That's what I'm talking about. Joining for two. 